Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari and on here we talk about fragrances. Uh, I want to get into fall. I cannot wait to wear my fall fragrances, but I want to talk about the fall dua fragrances that I have. If you are interested in some fragrances that you can get from dua for the fall, stay tuned. right well i'm happy you stay tuned let's get into it i want to first start off and say that this is going to be a long video so if you get a drink get a snack we have a total of 15 fragrances to go through i'm trying to not stay on them too long kind of tell you about it and then keep it moving uh, but I can't promise you that. So again, like I say, get a drink, get something to eat. This is going to be a long video, but it's going to be worth it. We're going to talk about Dua fragrances. So I really would like to first start off with the original ones that they have. So the original ones is going to be Car Caramel Brandy. <sighs> Caramel Brandy smells so good it's caramel it's brown sugar of course you know it's the brandy note is uh broxen and it's vanilla i love a good boozy fragrance in the fall so caramel brandy is just absolutely edible it is so good it's like it is really good if you just want a caramel note not too sweet um but a good caramel note with a brown sugar base, then I would say caramel brandy. And it looks like this. So sticking with the originals, we're gonna just keep going through them. The next one that I have is going to be on the same line. They, uh, all three of the ones that I'm about to tell you about first are all from the brandy line. So this one is blueberry brandy, blueberry brandy, it's blueberry jam with blueberries and a blueberry syrup to it. So it's like you have to like blueberry. It's brandy and it's a broxen also included in this one. Of course, you know that the brandy in this one is not that strong. Um, it's more blueberry. So this is going to be your more fruitier type of boozy scent. And that's going to be blueberry brandy. So stick out, we're going to stay with Brandy now, just so we can finish it off. This one here, if you've ever uh, like or smelled Plum Japanese by Tom Ford, and it's discontinued right now, and hopefully I said that name right. This is, I want to say their take on it, but they're saying that this is an original. So it is Plum Brandy, and in here, you're going to get a, a, a Plum Jam, a plum juice flavor, uh, brown sugar, brandy, and a broxen. So they all pretty much have almost the same base to them, just with a different like top note. So either it's gonna be plum, or it's gonna be caramel, or it's gonna be blueberry, but pretty much almost in that same type family. So this one here is plum brandy. Now, that, those are the three that I have that are brandy. The other one that I have that I would say that you probably need to get into is going to be Madagascar Vanillic Rum. This one here has this, oh, it's like a almost, almost like a, like a smoky vanilla, right? But the notes in it, this one I wear a lot with my coffee fragrances. So let me first say that, but Madagascar Vanillic Rum is vanilla uh, tinkered. It is a elderberry note, coffee, chocolate, uh, Cuban tobacco. See, that's what it was. Cuban tobacco and rum. This smells gorgeous on men. It's almost, it's, it's completely sexy on women. I love this one. Madagascar Vanillic Rum. 
Now, let's get into the ones that they have that was their take or inspiration of, right? So, the last, I want to say, uh, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The last ten. I'll say the last ten. The last ten of them are going to be inspired by fragrances. Now, I will tell you this. I know a lot of people say that's taboo. Um, I always say that I begin with do it so that I can figure out if I want the fragrance or if I don't want the fragrance. So that's how I kind of go back and forth with do I want to buy it. And sometimes do it has become a better uh, uh, presentation of it. Not all of them, but some of them have actually became the better presentation from the original. Uh, but I want to get into it. Like I said, I wasn't going to try to stay, spend too much time talking. I do have a video that I make sure that I post that talks about my duo fragrances. I did break them, I want to say, in Gourmand and Boozy. Uh, so I'll make sure that I list them. And you can always check that video out too, or those two videos out uh, after you finish watching this one. But let's jump into it. So the first one is going to be their take on Apple Brandy by Killian. And it's called Pami Tempe, right? This one is so good. This one, if you want to figure out if you like Apple Brandy by Killian, then I say get this one. Because uh, you're going to get a green apple, vanilla, you're going to get cedar, you're going to get a brandy note in it, uh, and of course you're going to get vanilla. But this one is a really, this is one of them I would say would be close. And this is Pumpy Temp, Tempe, right? And this is their take on uh, Apple Brandy by Killian. Now, I actually heard about this next one from a friend. Because I really wanted to get Roger Dove, but I just, I just can't seem to add, spend that much money to add it to my collection, being that I have so many fragrances. But this one here is called Miss Mobster, right? Miss Mobster is their take on um, their Pure Fime by Roger Dove. Enigma, Pure Fime. Fime. Now, I haven't smelt the original on this one. Um, I've heard great things about it. This one is really working very well for me, and it's Miss Mobster, and it has peach, neroli, uh, orris root, ambergris. You're going to get uh, rose, jasmine, sandalwood, and bergamot, right? And I'm not really that big of a fruity person, a, a floral fragrance uh, type of person, but I, I really do enjoy this one. I really enjoy this one. This is Miss Mobster. And in the fall, I find that the, even though it does have a bit of powderiness to it, it is really sophisticated. So, you know, around the fall is when you start going to a lot of like outings with your family and friends and stuff like that. This is a good one. This is right before it gets really too cold here in Texas. Now, this one here is only because I did not get an opportunity to get the Tom Ford's uh, Vanilla Frontel. Uh, by Tom Ford. So I got this one here. And it's close. Th th this is another one of them I would say close. Close, but not on point, but close enough that it's worth buying, right? So you're going to get vanilla, mascara vanilla in here. You're going to get a roasted, um, kind of like a brandy note, on, almost almost nutty right i'll say almost nutty Mag uh, magnolia wood you're going to get myrrh in it this pairs beautifully beautifully with myrrh and tonka by john uh joe Ma um, malone but again it has uh a more a sugary note a leather note you get a coffee absolute in it saffron and then frangipani which i don't really get the frangipani even though they said that it's in there, I do get the myrrh and I do get that uh, Madagascar vanilla. And this is called Fatal Vanilla. Fatal Vanilla. This one is really good. Okay. The next one that I have is, I really like this one 
and I had it in my collection and then I decided to gift this one to someone, one of my close friends because they really loved it. So I ended up just getting this as a backup to have because I really didn't pull for it often anyway. But the one I'm talking about that they feel this is the close to is going to be your Rouge uh, Turfagol, Turf I think. And I never say that right. I want to say it's um, Tear for Care. I'm, I, I'll make sure that I post the video and I probably have been posting the original ones uh, so that you will see what I'm trying to tell you about. But this one here is um, it's not as woody as the original one. But you still get the raspberry, the strawberry, the black currant. So it still has that kind of fruity top to it. Uh, it's very musky. This is a very musky fragrance. Uh, you're going to get the ch uh, cherry, the mandarin orange. So everything that you would get in the Christian Dior's fragrance, just not as woody and musky. Even though this is musky, it's not as heavy as the original so for me i liked this one more like i really enjoyed this one and this one was i want to say tarfagar in red right that's the name of it. if i didn't say it it's tarfagar in red all right so now uh i'm getting into the ones in my collection that i just didn't want the full bottle right so i enjoyed doers so I, I just didn't get the full bottle but i think that it will work gorgeous in the fall uh, and this is one here is going to be their take on Rouge Smoking by BDK Perfumes. Uh, the original one by uh, Rouge Smoking just did not last on my skin. So that's how I ended up getting this one. It just didn't. It didn't last on my skin. But yet when I bought the Dua version, which is She Loves Red, it worked gorgeous. So in here, you're going to get the cherry, the pink pepper, the orange blossom, the white musk. The bergamot, yeah, I get the bergamot. The black vanilla, letterman, and then like a cashmere wood. This one lasts longer. So if you're looking for one and you really like rouge smoking, but it just does not last on your skin, then get She Loves Red. I would tell you to go get this one. Now, I love a good letterman fragrance, right? But again, this is another one of them where the original, which was by uh, Lalabo, and it was their Latimer 18, I think, did not last for me. So I ended up getting it from Duo, and I enjoyed it. And theirs is called 18 Shades of Latimer. And uh, in here, of course, you're going to get that Latimer. It's going to be very, very strong, and it's going to be a top note. Vanilla, the Musk, the Birch. Um, it has cinnamon and, ton and tonka bean in it, but I don't really get the cinnamon. I really get a lot of leatherman. So this is 18 shades of leatherman. Gorgeous. Projects beautifully in cool weather. Like absolutely beautifully in cool weather. It does everything that you would want it to do. And I, I hope you're still hanging in here with me because we're down to the last four, right? Uh, these here, I'm, I want, well, these next three, I would like to get the actual bottle of these fragrances, but until then I'm going to hold on to the ones that I have. And then my last one is a discontinued one. That's why I made it the last one. So this one is called, uh, Euphoric. Euphoric is their take on Intoxicated by Killian. And I'm trying to save this one because I really want Intoxicated <laughs> by Killian. I really do. Uh, this one has your cardamom, your nutmeg, um, vanilla is in here, uh, your cinnamon, your coffee notes. And the coffee is not that strong, but it is in there. And then it ends off with this more sugary, almost like a sugary, sugary alcohol note. I really want intoxicated, but intoxicated by Killian, if you're not careful, would smell like you are intoxicated. This one here, not so much. It's not as strong. Uh, it does give you the vibe of Killian, but I want intoxicated. But until then, Euphoric by Dua is the one that I'm going to stick with. 
And this next one is called Angelic Elixir. This is Angel Share. And I know they have Angel Share on the rocks now, and I don't want that one. I want the original Angel Share. I'm even willing to get Angel, Angel Share, Share as a partial. That's how much I want it in my collection, even if I get it as a partial. This is very close. It's a very good dupe to it. Uh, so, um, and I try to spray it. You see that I'm kind of putting a dent in it, but I don't want to use it all up until I get my hands on Angel Share, but I want the bottle. And every time I go and I've tried to buy it twice, I end up getting Angel Share on the rocks and I, I don't want that one. But this one, you're going to get that cognac. Oh, and the cinnamon and the praline and the sandalwood, tonka bean. You're going to get some oak. And then it has this beautifully, like almost creamy vanilla note. But Angel Share by Killian, I want it, but I'm going to take this one here until then. And this is Angelique Elixir. All right. And now this one here I've had in my collection and I don't know. And I actually have seen, I've seen the original. I had an opportunity to get the original and I just keep, I don't know. I keep procrastinating because there's always a new fragrance coming up. But this one is called Liquid Mind Control. If you watch anything on YouTube and they're talking about do it, somebody is going to tell you about Liquid Mind Control. And this is their take on Baranda. Uh, and it's so good. It is so good. Uh. <laughs> liquid mind control is so good you're gonna get bergamot you're gonna get a lemon note but the lemon note is kind of like in the background you're gonna get amberette uh turkish rose you're gonna have a like a very berry-ish type note like a wild berry not like a blueberry or a strawberry but like a wild berry like um a merberry or something like some kind of berry you would get in the, in, in the woods. You're going to get this Scottish whiskey, which is delicious. You're going to get this Caribbean rum, which is beautiful. And then it's going to dry out on the dry down. You're going to get the dark amber. And then you're going to get this, um, what is that note? I can't think of the note. It said it's, um, fenugreek, but I'm not getting fenugreek. Um, I've smelled fenugreek, but I don't think it's that. I want to say it's more like a spicy clove or a cardamom in it. But it's it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you've ever smelled Baranda, then you know what this smells like. And I've had this one for a very long time. And I really do need to go ahead and just buy the original. But until then, I'm going to keep wearing Liquid Mind Control. My last one, and I almost didn't put this one in this selection because it is, it is uh, duping a fragrance that is discontinued. So it's called Iris White Chocolate, and it is their impression of Iris Ganache by Garland. I had, uh, I have a really good uh, fragrance buddy who, um, if I want a fragrance and she happens to have it, she sends it to me. And she have sent me the original of this. And it's, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one, but the original is absolutely gorgeous. And I, ever since I realized that I probably wouldn't get an opportunity to get the original, I find that I sprayed this one only on a special occasion. And I hate to say that because you really should not use your fragrance for special occasions. But I find that I spray this one only really on a special occasion. But the notes in it is cardamom, bergamot, uh, patchouli, cedar, vanilla, amber, and musk. And those are the ones that stand out for me. It is just such a sophisticated, beautiful fragrance. Like, it's, it's just really beautiful. And I, I really need to use this one more often. So if you made it to the end of this video, you are the best. And I greatly appreciate you. Uh, if you didn't make it to the end, but you kind of stopped a couple of times in between so that you could kind of watch it here and there, I appreciate that too. Make sure you are commenting and you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, it helps me. Make sure you put your thumbs up. 
thumbs up the video if you want me to do more dual fragrances but the ones that i talked about are the ones that i am interested in using for the fall i can say that my uh highly reached fragrances uh is going to probably be the liquid mind control um is a no-brainer i find myself always reaching for that one um angelic um, elixir i'm always reaching for that one um miss mobster uh on a good breezy day not not too cold but still kind of warm i find myself reaching for this one here this uh apple brandy is a very playful one uh so i find when it's kind of cooler outside that ample apple brandy is or this one here that is their take on apple brandy is one that i'm always kind of going with i will admit that these two here are newer to my collection as you see the tops are different uh and i think i still i still i still feel like i have this one only for nostalgic sake because i wanted to have the rouge in my collection i just didn't I just I really just didn't reach for the original one. And then I wanted this one here because sometimes I do tobacco, vanilla, vanilla, or sometimes I want to wear vanilla fatal. And that's where I reach for these. So those are the ones that I find myself reaching the most for. Save this video. Um Dua is always doing some kind of special. I want to say uh, as the taping of this video, they are still running their Labor Day sale, where it's DUA 30, 30% off all of them. Um, I will admit that probably some of the ones that I'm telling you about might be in their vault, but they do a vault um, where they open it up and it's like $33 to get it. Great price. But I won't hold you any longer. Like I said, I appreciate that you stayed as long as you did. Make sure you tune in to the next video. I'll talk to y'all soon.